Those headlines, dry, windy weather conditions made the Panhandle a dangerous place yesterday. Fire crews ended up battling several large wildfires. Yeah, one of those fires was in the wild Heron area of Bay County. That fire has grown to more than 100 acres and caused quite the scare for some homeowners. And then they had they were told to evacuate. News 13's Courtney Evans joins us live now from the area to give us an update on that situation. Courtney. Hey, hey, Chris and Kelsey. I actually just received the most recent update and our first update of the day from the Florida Forest Service. They're now saying this fire has doubled in size. It's up to 300 acres and only about 40% contained. People are out there fighting this all the time. As you can see behind me, they've set up their unified command center. Now, I was out here for several hours yesterday and I spoke to some residents. Here's what they had to say. The fire started around noon on Wednesday. Completely engulfed in smoke. Couldn't see any of it. Stephen Undercoffer is a resident and HOA president. It was like looking at early, early dawn or late dusk and the putrid smell of the smoke. Seeing the black smoke, I knew it was oily and had to come from the pine trees and then ash, some of it the size of bacon strips. By the time crews arrived on scene, the fire had spread. Anytime we get high winds like this and low humidity is a big concern for us. So perfect fire weather and today you see the results of what can happen with just a spark. As the fire grew, the concern for nearby structures did too. Officials went door to door evacuating residents from nearly 20 homes on Lost Cove Lane. And uh, all of a sudden we got the knock on the door. They said it's time, time to get out. It was a scramble. We uh, gathered up a lot of different uh, belongings, mostly uh, paperwork and things like that. And gathered up the cat and got out of town. Evacuation orders have since been lifted. Panama City Beach and Bay County officials were also on scene to support the community and first responders. We want to make sure that if there's a piece of equipment that's needed, that we're here to be able to make phone calls to people at the county level, at the state level, anywhere they need a phone call to be made. We want to make sure we're here supporting the team to make sure we're doing all we can to contain this fire. Chief Ray Morgan says crews will remain on scene until the fire is 100% contained. Bag Beach Road could have the potential with smoke on the road. Whenever night comes, the air density drops, the smoke that is elevated comes to the ground. We're going to have signs up out that says caution smoke. Please slow down. Pay attention. Now, as I reiterated in the beginning, this fire is now 300 acres and only 40% contained, meaning it's still a very active scene out, out here. As of right now, those evacuations still have been lifted, and first responders are making sure to work closely on fixing those fire lines to hopefully contain this thing from getting any bigger. I'll be out here the rest of the day, and we'll make sure if anything changes to report back to you. But for now, back to you guys in studio. All right, thanks a lot, Courtney. Well, meanwhile, firefighters over in Calhoun County also keeping busy. Yeah, crews are